Do you know the difference between delete, truncate and drop a table in SQL? If not, come with me. Table, employee ID, first name, department and salary. And we want to delete a record from this table. And we want to delete the row that is the employee ID number two. What we will do is throw this query, which is a delete from employees where employee ID equals to two. We execute and then we do a select start from the table again and we will see that the number two is deleted. However, if we want to delete all the records at the same time from a table but preserving the table structure, what we should do is do a truncate table. If I execute this command, we will see that now if I do a select start from this table, we see that the table is empty. But still, I can throw a query to the table, right? But if we want to completely delete everything from a table, the structure and the rows, what we should do is do a drop table employees. We execute this command. And then if we do a select start from table, we'll see that we throw, the SQL will throw an error saying that invalid object name employees. Knowing the difference between delete, truncate and drop in SQL is a very common interview question. So if you want to learn more about SQL, you should follow me. Bye.